The Treasury bill secondary market traded with bullish sentiments as yields closed flat due to demand pressures. And I have with me Choma Udu, an FX dealer at GT Bank. She joins me now uh, for an update on the fixed income market here. But Choma, before we get into the markets, I just want to get your a, a, a sense from you what you what you make from what we've seen play out with JP Morgan here and, and, and moving Nigeria from that uh, from that, that list. Well, um, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, it's not the first time they've taken up from the list. Well, it, it might trade the market sentiment, but well, market continues to trade and forge ahead, really. But this is not the first time we've had that incident. I think it happened sometime in 2015-16 where we had an issue with the index. But it's, it's, it's not the first time. Market continues to trade. It continues to see activities in the TDOs and bonds market and also in the money market and FX market as well. All right, but on your take also on the, the U.S. Fed's aggressive uh, stance. Well, um, inflation, basically. There's inflation due to, uh, we've seen um, the war, the crisis between Ukraine and Russia affect a lot of things. There's inflation put in the U.K., and the Eurozone is considering um, lifting their uh, interest rate from a um, negative to at least 0.1%. And we've seen other countries looking at inflation and tweaking their benchmark interest rates. Just last week, we saw the Bank of England and uh, the Fed move their rates. You know, so all these things uh, build up from what we've seen from the Ukraine war and how it affects supply of um, commodities around the world. All right, but also, what's your assessment of how we are addressing the inflation challenge here in Nigeria? Oh, well, um, it's slow, but it's steady. We've seen the money market um, rates have um, constantly um, gradually trended up, especially in the money market. Um, we've seen um, tight liquidity in the system, and as a result of that, we've seen rates in the money market traded at, at an average of 10%. And if you go to the t space, we've seen gradual but slow um, optical rates. Um, the last option, it closed at 4.9%. That's the one year. And we expect that to um, continue to trend. There's an option tomorrow, 127 billion is an offer across three channels. We expect some movement in the one year um, um, paper that's going to be offered tomorrow from 4.79 to about 5%, where it's currently trading um, in the money in the market, the secondary market. Yeah, but how would you say investors are positioning then? Um, well, uh, there's no liquidity in the market. Today we opened the market at uh, more than 65 billion up. Um, there, are, there are a lot of things that we are looking to as regards to liquidity in the market. So what we're saying is a lot of investors are looking at where inflation is in Nigeria. The last inflation closed at 15.92. And there are, people are looking to get more returns for their assets. So whatever we're going to see at the auction tomorrow, people are going to just train um, um, high yields to try and match um, where they feel rates are supposed to be in the market, considering the thin liquidity they have. Right, but what's the uh, the secondary market play? Um, the secondary market, uh, we've seen a quiet market um, at the long end of the TVO curve. We've seen rates, you know, touching five percent, which is what we expect because at the next, like I said, the next auction we expect that rates are going to trend up. If you go to the long end of the curve, now speaking to the bonds market. We've seen some buying interest at the 23s and 27. It's currently trading at 10%. You see players trying to get as much as they can yield-wise, and that's what's rich since it's now considered um, um, a short um, term um, bond. But the long end remains lukewarm with interest rates on the 32s and 34s flat at about 12%. Well, but finally, how, how would you look at the, the central bank's uh, auction strategy for this year? Well, um, the schedule, well, when, when you say schedule, it's, it's basically retapping across um, the, the short end of the curve. And then uh, we've seen some increase in the bond space. Now, the next auction next week, uh, we have a bond auction, $225 billion is going to be taken up across three, um, three maturities, which is um, the 25, the 32, and the 42. Well, we expect that um, we're going to see interest in that space. Like I already mentioned, everybody thinks that rates should trend up considering what is happening to inflation in Nigeria and around the world. So we really expect that um, with the recovery the federal government is trying to do, we expect that rates are going to trend up in that space. All right. And thank you so much for that breakdown. Tomorrow, I do here an FX dealer at GT Bank.